This is the box for Yar's Revenge for the Atari 2600. New inside, Yar's Revenge from Atari Action Packed Comic Book. Oh hell yeah, I'm buying this game. Man, I miss the days when you used to get cool comic books with your video games. Does anyone else remember Atari Force? I could just imagine PlayStation or Xbox Force coming up to the Atari Force guys and being like, hey, I have more processing power. And then the Atari Force team would be there in their spandex with a wood grain finish, like smash a beer bottle over their head and just say, f off. Because Atari Force has nothing to prove. And neither does Yar's Revenge. <laughs> this is easily one of the best video games released for the Atari 2600. Back in 1981. And Yar is actually Ray, spelled backwards. A guy named Ray was the CEO of Atari at the time. We reviewed this game in the original classic Game Room series and I think spent more time embellishing our story of the Yars versus the Quotile. And I saw some requests for a more serious review of Yars Revenge. <laughs> this was created by the, the, the same guy that wrote the, the ab abysmal E.T. game on the Atari 2600. And Yars Revenge is also the best-selling original title on the Atari. So it's it's a very interesting game just just from these facts alone. But the best part about Yara's Revenge is simply the gameplay. They've taken something so simple and turned it into one of the most in-depth, challenging video games of all time that has infinite replay value because because there's many different ways that you can play the game, many different strategies that you can apply. The basics are that you're a Yar an insect-like creature that flies around in space and eats sewer pipes. Or so we said in the original Classic Game Room review. You're trying to break down the energy shield and get shots from your Zorlon cannon <laughs> to hit that quota thing over there which shoots out spinners. You activate the Zorlon cannon by either touching the quotile or eating one of the shield cells and you line up your shot adjusting for the movement of the of the enemy and incinerate him getting lots of points and advancing levels and difficulty. There's an awesome neutral zone in the middle where you can hide from the blinking cursor missile thing trying to kill you. As the game progresses the spinners, the red things or blue things that come out and try to destroy you move faster. Eventually they become yar seeking spinners and try to move towards you. And all in all, I can't say enough good things about Yar's Revenge. It has one feature that we've totally lost in modern day video games, which I know all of us old school gamers remember with fondness, which is the ability to fly out of the screen on the top and then reappear at the bottom. Remember dueling airplanes in combat? Like, that never gets old. Like, how could they work that into a modern game like Halo 3? That would be so infuriating for your opponents. You'd run out of uh, part of the battlefield on the left and then appear on the right and shoot them in the back. <laughs> Yar's Revenge offers a couple different modes of gameplay, including Ultimate Yar, where it incorporates some different elements like, the, like a rebounding Zorlon cannon shot and uh, you fire the cannon by actually touching the left side of the screen after you've collected so many points by doing various things like eating cells. I personally prefer the original straight up Yar's Revenge like I played as a kid. And I'd be curious to see what would happen if a new console today made a remake of Yar's Revenge because I don't think this game would succeed with new fancy three-dimensional gameplay. I think that there could be a nice revision of this for say the Xbox Live Arcade taking the same two-dimensional concept and then updating some of the graphics, sound effects, and maybe enhancing the gameplay with some elements. But until they do that, 
you simply cannot go wrong with getting an Atari 2600 and one of the best video games on that console and one of the best video games, one of the most unique, clever, and creative video games ever made, Yars Revenge. It's always a great feeling when the quotile shoots a spinner out at you and you disappear from the top side of the screen to the bottom, charge him, fire up your Zorlon cannon, and explode that bastard quotile into a bunch of multicolored pixels. After each time you destroy the bad guy, you can make your yard do a little break dance. This game goes to show you that revenge is a dish best served with a side of yar and some waffle fries. Maybe coleslaw. Little known fact about the yars is that they actually make terrific coleslaw. And it's like it's like the really creamy kind. You know, like you get from good diners. Sometimes you go to restaurants and they try to give you that fancy crap that's got all the, the lettuce and broccoli or whatever they put in there cut up with like an apple vinegar sauce. But you really don't want that. You want the creamy kind of coleslaw. And, and maybe that's what gives the Yars so much energy to continue their vengeance time and time and time again. Because, that, like I said, the game has infinite replay value. And they got to burn a lot of calories flying around. Dodging the uh, Cursor of Doom. So, uh, yeah. It's a good game. Pick it up. And make sure to get the comic book with it.